Good evening. Nancy Pivovar from Plainfield. I'm sorry, your name again? Nancy Pivovar from Plainfield. Um, at the last meeting, I stood up an, as an advocate for the reservation. But it just didn't feel right about the mountain, mountain biking through the reservation, through parts of it that have not been uh, disturbed since the logging went on way back when. And I have to thank Jorba because they made me look at the local park that I live nearby in a different light. I drive through that park every day. That park has had an impact on my family. Um, my brother, two of my brothers work in the science field. And it's probably because that they were able to enjoy a county park through their um, young childhood. But I have to say that the local park that I live nearby is neglected. It's very neglected. But I can understand that. But what I can't understand is some of the pictures that I saw online that were sent with the trails being done already. They disturbed me for two days. I didn't get sleep. What is exasperating to me is the destruction that I saw in these pictures. I live in an urban city. I live where we have to deal with tagging all the time. But the tagging that we had in the town that I live in can be erased with spray paint. It could be washed away. It could be taken off the building. It could be redone. The tagging that I saw in some of these pictures is irreparable. It's not going to go away in my lifetime until somebody takes the time to cut the logs and take off the tagging. This is not the kind of behavior that we need in, in our county, in our reservation. It is not appropriate, it's inexcusable, and it's devastating to me because I live in an urban area and I have never seen tagging like this in my local county park. And it's infuriating to me that this occurred. It's also infuriating to me because I looked up the rules of the trail from the International Mountain Biking Association. And they have six rules, and I'll give them to the county clerk. And one of them is leave no trace. Well, when you tag, you left a trace. It also says, never scare the animals. I don't believe an environmental impact study was done. There are threatened and endangered species up there. I am wearing a shirt of one of the endangered species, the threatened species up there. And I was assured by a biologist in the state of New Jersey that appropriate permits would be taken out before any work was done. And that was before I saw any of these pictures. Now, I haven't reported back to him, but I did take the time to order a bob turtle shirt from the state of North Carolina. Bob turtles can be this big. This destruction, how many bog turtles did we kill? How many bog turtles did we kill? Nobody knows where they, that there's mapping. The state has a bog turtle project. We need an environmental impact study. You good people have the power to stop this. You also have the power to ask crime stoppers to put up a reward to find out who did the tagging up there. Because as far as I'm concerned, it's inexcusable. And if we need to, maybe we should get drones to see exactly what the damage is up in that reservation. We all own the reservation. You are the stewards of the reservation. Okay? I understand the mountain bikers. I'm not against bikers, but I'm against the destruction of the environment. Thank you. Thank you.